Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Vicar1 video. Vikram here, and today we're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to put survival games into your Minecraft bucket server. And, uh, if you don't know what a bucket server is, here's a link. I made a video on how to create one. Uh, it's kind of outdated, but there should be a new one, and it follows the same concepts. So, uh, let's go. So, uh, first thing you wanna do is download a Hunger Games map. I didn't download this one, I downloaded, uh, Pirate's Bay. And then you want to go to, it's called, um, Multiverse. Multiverse Portals. And you want to get this plugin for your server. So just don't get the permissions. Well, you could, but I mean, pretty useless. Um, go to Portals and then um, download this and also get Multiverse Core. And then your survival games plugin is just gonna you're just gonna get you're just gonna type this in go to your survival games buckets bucket.org and download this all right so now that you have all of these files you want to go into your bucket uh, server go to plugins and drag the two uh, or three jars that came with it then you want to start up your server and then when you start it up stop it and then uh, this folder should be created, survival games. You want to double click this, go to config, and then you want to um, change the auto start players, the time, vote, um, do all this kind of stuff, grace period, you can do whatever you want, uh, whitelist blocks, break blocks, place blocks, whitelist. So um, yeah, that's all you need to do with survival games pretty much, and then the uh, other stuff, now we get into the server. So you go into your server, uh, that's my server. Alright, so now that you're in your server, oh, I have people here, um, you want to go to your Hunger Games sort of place, you know? Uh, let's just go through this. <laughs> Alright, he said hi, YouTube. So go, this portal's broken, but, uh, go to your Hunger Games lobby, and, um, you will see that you can, uh, now you want to make your lobby wall, alright? So you can separate, you can do one big thing, but I'll show you the basics. So here I have in a, a basic arena. Uh, it's just a normal arena. And then I can do SGU leave, leave the arena. Um, and I have that in all these places, all right? So if you had, wanna add a new one, you just go up to it. You first click it, and then second, and then you do SG, add wall, and then the arena number. So I believe it's going to be five. So it's going to be that. Now nothing shows up because we haven't created the arena yet. So here's where the next step goes comes in. So you want to take your map that you've downloaded and just want to drag it into your bucket server uh, folder. So where all your worlds are. I named mine Bay. Now the thing is it didn't load. So what I did is I took the pirate. This is the original one. I took all these files and then when I went into my Minecraft I did MVP create um, and then it'll say stuff down down here on how to do it. So um, not create a portal, but you can do MV create, and then this will create a normal world. So you can go world normal, um, and then whatever you want to do. All right. So then let's just do this example. MV create uh, name it Bob, and then normal. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I already did it. If and but that's only if you have problems. All right, that came from the nether, apparently. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to do on that part. Now you wanna go into that. So you do slash MV, um, TP, and then the name of your map. So Bay is my map name, and this is the spawn for some reason. So let me just get out of here. Game mode one, and get out. And let's just build that up real fast. Uh, bam. So here is the actual map that I have, and uh, so this is the arena that I want to make, alright? So what you want, want to do is you want to set a spawn just for now, so do slash uh, set spawn. Alright, so this is the spawn of location of bay. So now if you want your automatic chest restock, automatic chest fills, you're going to have to define a area for your map, alright? So let's just go to the edge of the map. So let's go till we hit um, glass, which might actually be a while. So uh, I'll speed this up. 
Alright guys, so I've hit glass almost, and what you want to do is you want to break, break past the class at a point where no one can break past it. So I mean, if you're normal survival games, no one can get here. So now you want to go to the very top to make sure you get all of this, um, of your dome. So I can barely see anything anymore. Um, this seems about good. So now you do slash up one, you flick this. It's my first position, so keep that in mind that it's your first position. Now you want to fly over. This, I think it's easier if you go this way. You want to fly over and go to the all whole other side of the thing. Alright guys, so we've hit glass again, and now you want to do the same exact thing that you did the first time. Oh, that chest is going to be hard to find. Uh, break it at a point where no one can break. And then just go out as far as you possibly can. So that's about here, and they could go about level, alright? So now what I want to do is do slash up one. Again, make sure you do the opposite of what you did the first time. One time I did this whole map, I did both first positions, I had to go to the other side and set again. So this is my second position, alright? So now, I want to make sure I get through the glass before I do anything. Um, and I'm just going to go back to spawn. That's why you set the spawn. And now, you, oh, I probably should have done that earlier. Whatever. Alright, so now that we're back, we can do slash Create arena or plus SG create arena five and now we go to our spawn point. We can click this and then we do that command that we had such a long time ago, which was SG uh, spawn next um, set spawn next and then space. So like this. That's spawn one. Then we go to the next one, make sure we're centered, click, boom, set spawn, click, boom, set spawn, click, spawn, and the list goes on and on and on. Alright guys, so now that you've set all the spawns and I keep track by counting beforehand, we have all the places. So now we have all the spawns. And everything should be all ready to go. Now we just TP back to our regular world. So M B or I'll just do slash um, warp HG so I get into the Hunger Games lobby. And now we go. go. Alright, so now we go into here and you will see that this thing didn't really appear. So we'll just go this this and then sg add wall 5 and it didn't appear because we deleted it earlier so sg add wall 5 right there bam and now we just click it and uh we'll add him to get in all right so now you'll see that he spawned in too so um we can start the map let's play demo so now you can do sg start and it'll start in those 10 seconds. So I'm playing with him. And I'll show you guys that the chests do restock. 3, 2, 1. And go. And hopefully that this thing also respawns. I've never played it with these branches. So you look in here. Boom, 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 boom. And we have a grace period for 10 seconds. Oh god, it's ended. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Yes, and I won. So it says I've won and all that. All these live updates. So now five. So, as you will see, the thing has respawned, at least I think I'm on the right side, but, um, yeah, they're joining, and we can start, so SG start, and we can have a good time, so it'll be all fun and dandy, and, uh, yeah, this map is called Pirate Bay, I hope you guys enjoyed, let's just check if it respawned, you know, uh, I'm not even gonna go fight, I'm just gonna see if it's, see, it has, it has respawned, so let's look in here. Check the chests. You're all good. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, uh, well, you win some, you lose some. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys can possibly play on my server if uh, I figure out the whole doohickey. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye.